So we are here today at the wonderful Burton Cummings Theater in Winnipeg with Jag from My Mother Earth. And uh, yeah, we met last year. You needed a guitar tech, and I said, I have not a guitar tech, but I could hand you your guitars and tune them for you. And, and like, he blew that too. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was all over the map. Yeah. Nowhere close. Nah, it was great. It was, it was great to meet you at that point. Yeah. We've been friends ever since. Yeah. I'm a huge I Mother Earth fan um, growing up. Like, the Dig album. You never and, told me that, eh? No. I know. I, awesome. I tried hey, cool. to. But, yeah, like, Used to Be Alright is one of my favorite songs. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, man. So, okay. Um, so they are, like, Canadian icons to me. And your Strat tones are some of the best I have ever heard. And when you told me that you were building your own guitars, I was like, we have to check out the guitars. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So Jag's got Tana guitars that are here. Not, not so much this one. This is just for me. This one. <laughs> You're like, there's no guilty, trademark a, infringement. No, it's a guilty pleasure. I, I had yeah. to make one, right? Everybody's going to have one. So, so yeah. tell us about, like, you tell us about all of them, but, like, about, you know, what are your, like, mainstay workhorses? Uh, the wor Yeah, I have food. Jeez. Well, they're just basic strats. Uh, I wouldn't say basic. What? <laughs> okay, the whole thing is, they all come from my number one actual Strat, right? Which I had made by Larry Brooks in 1992, something like that. It went, I think before the custom shop, it was the custom shop, right? Okay. So I went to Fender, he made me this thing, and uh, I've had it forever. I'm deathly afraid to take it on the road. So I started thinking, well, maybe I just start to make my own. I went through the whole parts caster thing. Yep. Nothing ever works with parts casters, doesn't work. So I thought, well, how do I get into it so that I'm uh, all the parts fit correctly? Yeah. So basically, my weird number one strat. Right. Started. It's not so weird. But the measurements are all a little bit off by a millimeter can or whatever. So we started copying those to see if I could get it to feel anywhere close. Nowhere close. Gotcha. So, <laughs> so finally, I, I got onto something now where it's, uh, I think I'm as close as I can get to my number one. Yeah. But uh, I'm loving them. I, I mean, I literally just put these together before the tour. I mean, we made it a ton before that, but every every single time we make a guitar, we kind of uh, it's always a refinement. Like, yeah, it's not like still making amps. So you you got you got to lock yes. in and say this is it. Yeah, we just look at it and go, well, that one was good. I think we could do a little bit better. A little bit yeah. Better. Well, and there's so many. So if you bought one of the early ones, you're fucked. <laughs> no, that's that's, 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 a, that's a total lie. Yeah, you need so. another one now because <laughs> there's been improvement. <laughs> Dude, that's no, no different than with us. We have Mark One, Mark Two, Mark Three. Like, you know, no, it's you true. But you learn everything. everything. Yeah, exactly. As you go, you learn things, and you go, oh, you know what? Yeah. Like it. My partner Dan uh, drives me insane with this because he will constantly come to me and be like, hey, so uh, I made a tweak to the generator circuit, and I'm like, no, oh, no, it's, no it's been ten years. Oh, like, you don't <laughs> need to do that. And then he brings it in, and I'm like. Damn it! Yeah, you're yeah. right. Like you know yeah. what? It, it's 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 a constant thing. Pedal boards, everything, everything like that. It's a constant. I think for almost every guitar player, I don't know any any guitar player that just sort of sits back with us. Yeah, everything's fine forever. Yeah, you're always tweaking. You're always doing all this stuff. So I just keep refining these things to a point where I, I feel I can give them to anybody and just be like, and feel good about it. So yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah, you know. So basically, what we do now is we. They're all custom order. Every single part of it is, is kind of uh, customizable. Yep. So, so it becomes sort of, it, uh, as soon as you have it, it fits right into your hand right away because it's not something unexpected. Right. You're like, you've already called the neck shave, the radius, the frets, the electronics. I'm using, uh, now these are all Tana pickups made by uh, Tim McNelly, oh, who's a pickup guru. Kate. So the guitar I told you about that has like the V shape that goes to yeah. the C shape up top, it's built by a buddy of mine in uh, in Tennessee. His name is Dan Blom. He has a company called BB Rooster Guitars. Okay. He does kind of similar vibes to what you're doing, but you shapes his own necks. And uh, like what I mean is not just doing parts casters. It's like trying to do something unique and different. Yeah. Um, but it has McNelly's, and I had never heard of McNelly. And the first time I plugged it in, I was like, these pickups sound fantastic. Well, here's the thing. He's, he's a fantastic builder. The funniest things, everyone kept saying, you should try them, you should try them. As it turns out, he lives literally 30 seconds from my house. I had no <laughs> idea. And he's the sweetest guy, and he's always into talking about pickups. And Very then we got, when we got doing these things, I said, well, what about we, we pick a lot of models and stuff like that and say, yeah, those are only for these. Yeah. So everything's these hand wound kind of things, all customizable, but we have our A2s, our A5s, ceramics, like everything like that. So anything you need Very from cool. a guitar when you order one is like, 
we, we wind it to what you need. That's awesome. But I will always recommend sort of what I'm using. Well, that's killer. Because it just works. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Nice. I really like, can I shut up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The heel here and like this joint is awesome. Like it's so unbelievably comfortable compared to like standard strats. When you get, when you get up high, yeah. it's ridiculous, like, right? Yeah. I don't ever play that high, but, <laughs> but, see, but it, I would if I had this. But it's sort of like an option where we, we can also go just to, oh, to yeah, street, so straight, straight kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I went down the whole, uh, the, the, you know, ordering in from well, like what, like, uh, like AliExpress. And oh, yeah, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just to see what everybody's doing. But so, so many guys are just doing that kind of thing. And we're like, yeah, oh, everything has to be made in Canada. And uh, obviously, except for the bridges. Curse <laughs> <laughs> The pain of my existence is collecting bridges. But. That's nice. it, man. Yeah. It's cool. Going great. Selling a ton, but a nice small amount where we can really work one on one with people. Awesome. So I love it. So the website is tannaguitars.com? No, it's no. not. I don't do a website either. All right. You only so. contact me directly through my Facebook or whatever, and, and that's it. We start from there. We start cool. a relationship together. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, building a guitar. It's awesome. I yeah. remember when you were here last summer, you had just put together like two that you brought for the show and you're like i literally put the neck on this last night and opened it the thing is i what happens like, is i make all these guitars like I, I get them everything's going out the door and then by the time we get to do a show i have none for myself yeah. so basically i'm like grabbing scraps like even next hour is twisted or whatever like okay i'll shove that hood it's like okay and then i hope i can make it to the show right so uh, you know i just don't go up near the uh 15th fret <laughs> <laughs> Everything falls apart, you know, at that point. So, no. tell us a little bit about your double neck, because that's something very <laughs> it's unique. It's the dumbest thing ever, but I swear to God, I love it so much. This, uh, I say, it's a, a thousand pounds of uh, rock wheat. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a standard thing. It started out uh, as a, a baritone. Okay. Has, but I only use a baritone on our fourth record. Yeah. I've never used it on anything else. So, I'm like, what the hell am I going to use it for? So we actually clogged the uh the hole back up and re-drilled everything for the 12 string so cool that's it it's just a normal your basic 12 6 and yep. uh one switch one volume knob that's it cool yeah so you were one of the first guys that i've seen here that's running synergy which is really? yeah, yeah. I, I see it a lot in like guys for home studio stuff right where you're yeah. where you're going to swap a lot but i don't see it on the road a whole lot i'm um, telling you even if you have an amp head and you're, and you're putting it in sort of like a, I guess it's a pseudo four cable method with yep. it, it gives you five channels. It's like my, my amp I was using before is a single channel amp. I, yep. threw, I threw that in just to give me a gain chip. Yeah. So then I got used to it. And I'm like, Damn. so then uh, the hardest thing is uh, what are you going to amplify with? Right. And I, I love the system. We've talked with uh, Avi over at the T camps a number of times about eventually doing a Rev Synergy module. So eventually there oh, will wow. be one. Are you but, kidding? It's not like crazy. I, I, uh, I've been a big fan of it since I tried it back in like I think 2016 or 2017. Yeah. First tried it. Um, I think it's great. I think I like the old Ignator and Randall system though that existed. Like I thought I, it's I had a total hard on for the old uh, Ignator. Uh, it, was, it was the blinging. Yeah. No, 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 wait. It lies. It was the, is it the TOL 100? Oh, oh, I have no idea. idea. Yep. We were touring somewhere in the States and someone said, uh, oh, you like whatever amp, you should try this. And I yep. plugged into it and I was like, this is amazing. Now it's kind of cool to have, you got Sodano in a, in a basement on, on like each side. And then as a backup, I have a Freedom. So it's kind of yep. cool, you know? But yeah, this, yeah, so very cool. The new IRX, which is a great new product with a direct solution on it. Yeah. I, I mean, that's so important. So are your tones running direct to front of house from this? And then you've got cabs on stage for your monitoring? Yeah, so it's like a split system, right? So I have a, a Synergy into the Fractal with my cabs modeled in the Fractal with uh, everything stereo for that. That goes to front of house. And then uh, I have a separate path that is still the same preamp going through here no lies it goes to my dry cabs and i'm still i'm tapping off the lazy reverb through here to get to, to the uh, the outside or wet cabs so I, and i'm running the, the port city two by 12s very cool yeah and it's a, sometimes a pain in the ass but it works <laughs> I'll awesome. stick with it for a while, and then we'll take it from there, you know? Awesome. Well, dude, thank you so much for showing us all. Oh, no, you're today. And it's yeah. good to see you again. Likewise. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys.